pathologists are indispensable to the operation of our medical system, but who are they and what do they actually do? Dr. Ellen Maxwell is a haematologist in a major pathology lab. Haematology is the study of blood and that involves all areas of blood. So it's the issues of the production of the blood cells, of the plasma proteins that control things like coagulation, inflammation, thrombosis. In fact, almost in every disease process, somehow the haematological system, the blood system, contributes to the disease, responds to the disease, is affected by the disease. So in nearly every type of medical condition, there is something that we are seeing in the blood that can be beneficial towards helping the consultant manage that patient or that can give us some clues as to what the diagnosis is or that uh, we have to support the patient in some way, for instance, transfusion support in somebody who's got some sort of chronic disease. Hemoglobin is 91. Well, we're heavily involved in the diagnosis of cancers and particularly what we call fluid and solid blood cancers. So they're things like lymphoma, myeloma, leukaemia, but as well as that, there are topical things that the community would know about, such as the risk of venous thrombosis when you travel. So one of the things that haematologists do is look at people's propensity to clot, to make the diagnosis of genetic disorders that increase that risk. Because I oversee the department here, I have multiple roles. The first thing is to make sure that there's quality coming out of the department. Overseeing all the areas, making sure that we're medically up to date. Make sure he's safe, not that we're providing the services that the clinicians need to make safe and assured diagnosis. I also have a diagnostic role. So as much as all the people I employ, I sit there at a microscope and I look at blood films and I look at bone marrows. So in fact, I always tell the medical students that haematology is a fantastic um, profession to be in because it's incredibly holistic. There's clinical haematology, you get to meet the patient, actually physically take your specimens yourself bring them back to the laboratory, be the one to process, to make the diagnosis down the microscope, and then take that information and go back and manage the patient in a meaningful way. Our blood bank supports the transfusion needs of over 70 hospitals in the Melbourne metropolitan region and some of the rural areas. We probably cross-match, that means provide blood for surgery or for acute bleeding for over 250 patients, individual patients per month. Hematology spans a very broad field. It is routine care, it is standard of care to have antibody screens through pregnancy, to have your blood group and your rhesus group uh, specified. We have special areas where we do screening for thalassemia. Again, that's very manual, very interpretive. We do over 1,200 bone marrow biopsies per year. So we provide the service to go and collect those in hospitals, go to the patient, the patients don't come to us. After leaving high school, Dr Maxwell spent the next seven years getting her medical degree. She invested a further four years training as a medical officer and registrar. She then spent two years gaining a fellowship with the College of Physicians and a further three years before gaining her fellowship with the College of Pathologists. You can produce plenty of numbers off machines, and our machines are fantastic, but they can't give a clinical perspective of what those abnormalities mean related to the patient. Our job really is to take that information and to try and give it perspective and to guide the people that are looking after the patients based on what we find. Can I speak to Dr Bradley, please? Hello, Dr Borisak. It's Dr Maxwell. Dr Hayes. Well, I have some urgent results for Dr Borisak. They require us to make personal interpretations based on our level of expertise about what the meaning of the abnormalities in the test is. So it's not just important to find the abnormality, it's important to recognise what the implications of that abnormality actually are. And while Dr Maxwell is a haematologist, pathologists in general play a much wider role than just diagnosing disease. They're actually involved in diagnosing more than 70% of disease and work across a range of different specialities. These include anatomical pathology, the study of disease through tissue, forensic pathology which seeks to investigate and define the cause of unexpected death, genetics which looks at chromosomes and DNA from cells to diagnose genetic diseases, chemical pathology which deals with the entire range of disease and encompasses detecting changes in a number of substances in blood and body fluids such as electrolytes, enzymes and proteins, 
immunopathology, which looks at allergic reactions, autoimmune disorders such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis and thyroid conditions. Microbiology, which deals with diseases caused by infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. And general pathology, which covers the profession as a whole. I wouldn't be here if I didn't enjoy it a lot. So I wouldn't do long hours if I didn't enjoy it a lot. It's very satisfying to be in it. And it's very addictive in many ways as a profession because you get such a sense of fulfilment and satisfaction. 